What is up, guys? Welcome back to a new FC Barcelona career mode. <clears throat> and you can see, yesterday, last last video we have lost against um, Villarreal, making us go third place. So <clears throat> if we win here, we will be second. But before that, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notification bell, and um, yeah, you can see. Right here, Peña, there's a 26 year old man, 72 rated, and Peña is 22 years old and 70 rated, and um, I don't think that's worth it. I'm just gonna delegate here his start offer at three million. Why did it go to four million? What is happening? But this is confusing right here. But you can see here, um, Firpo, I played you last game. I don't know why you wanna play another game. Come on, bro, you're tired. You know that. You lost that other game. What are you talking about, bro? And let's jump into this game here already. Mitafe versus Barcelona. As you can see, our players are growing better and better. And we are in the Barcelona. We are in Spain, Barcelona, in a foggy night in December. Almost transfer window is almost open. And it's a kickoff here. And already Frankie De Jong looking for an opening here. Sees El Kun Aguero who's going to run this down. But it's beautiful counterattacking and passing here for the Barcelona squad. Dembele sees Frankie De Jong. What a great block from the goalkeeper. Just beautiful right there. But Lino Messi taking this corner kick here for the Barcelona squad at the early 25th minute. He's calling Dembele here to blow past this. And this could be happening here in the early, nothing. That was a horrible pass. And Messi with the great defense right there. No, he's still taking it away. And now it's Hentafe now counterattacking here. But our squad, Rodri, takes it away. And now Sergio Aguero or here. He has the ball and he has an opening. He shoots and it's a goal. It is a goal for El Kun Aguero. 1-0 in this first half and the Barcelona squad celebrates this first goal here the fans go crazy here look at this everyone let him open and now he had an opening spot he sees an open net and boom just shoots it the keeper couldn't catch it 14 goals for him and now he is I think second in the I think he's still second in the top score but it is almost done this game's almost over we're still in the first half. Messi is over here, but the team. And now it's Janis Jansen. And then Tafe with a great interception for Bruno Fernandez. And now El Kun Aguero is trying to, trying to cause a 2 0 lead before the halftime. Dembele is looking for an open man. I did not want to pass it to him. And that was a block from Tafe. And that is halftime here, guys. We are in the lead, but we can't let that go to our heads because sometimes they come back. Bacuero, the man to watch in this game right now. 1-0 in the Barcelona Stadium. 59 minutes and great blocking right there. Frankie De Jong now has the ball for Barcelona. Now this could be a counterattack in here for Bruno Fernandes. Now Aguero looking for an open man here. He sees no one, but he sees one person. Frankie De Jong. It is a goal 2-0 here in this game. And that is what keeps us in this lead. We're, hopefully we don't lose this. But I don't think Hintafe has their effort in this game today. Look at this opening right here. Great passing and great shots right there. 2-0, two, well, two goals for him. Already 89th, 88th minute, I meant. And they're going, trying to go get a goal at least. Can this happen right here with the cross? But Ter Stegen, he ain't going to let that happen. Jordi Alba, Frank De Jong, 83rd minute. And this game with the great interception right there. Hentafe is trying their best still to get at least one goal in here. But it seems like our defense is too much for them. And a horrible pass and Wambisaka intercepts that ball. Pinto Bean to Lionel Messi. Nino Messi 
He's going to run it down, but no. Oh, he still has the ball. Messi still has the ball. Can this because he's a 2-3-0. All of a sudden, then Pele. It's a goal. Goal. From Usam Dembele. Beautiful volley in. And that goal makes us with the beautiful lead. Why is Messi leaving? 3 0. 89th minute. Dembele scores to secure. We were already we're in the lead, but we are now further. 90th minute, and there's no way they're going to come back. 90's not a goal, and that is full-time here. Barcelona gets the three points here and go to second place. The Barcelona fans are happy. Me as a manager is happy. And the players right here are ha happy. Is that Tellez? What? That can't be Tellez. But anyways, this is what we need for the Barcelona squad. Jordi Alba keeping up the defense. We're screening here, and... The, Basically, all the defense was doing their part. Same with offense. And that is 3-0 in this game. We are now heading into January. We are in the winter break here. Peña sells agreements. Um, okay, they accept that $4 million. Okay, I didn't even put $4 million. I put $3 million, but it's all good. It's all good. I just get extra cash. <clears throat> but... Yep, we're gonna we're gonna wait until the um what you call it? Wait until we go into the transfer window, buy someone. We already bought someone, and I already showed y'all in like a couple episodes back. But right here we have a goalkeeper, and we're gonna just put his development plan to a super keeper. Three star weak foot for him. His holding go up. All that stuff that's lower than his um original stuff. So we're gonna make sure we train our new our pros here. Pena is sold. Okay, that's what we needed. Ooh, monthly scouting report. So Pena was sold. Okay, that's good. And Cunningham, nothing. Smith, nothing. Ooh, Fraser. Okay, King, nothing. Perry, nothing. Woods, nothing. Okay. We only got one person that was good. But would he live up to the expectations here? Because everyone knows La Liga is a tough league. And there's no doubting that. And we're going to change him up right here for a little bit. We're gonna, I'm going to put him. Should I leave him as a right back? Or should I change him to a center back? I think I'm going to put him as a center back. Two weeks until he turns fully into a center back. Um, but yeah. You see, Gody is a full potential 94 rated person, 65 overall, Chile. And um, I think we'll promote him. Yep, we're going to promote him here. And he is now Barcelona's backup keeper. Should I use him? I don't know. Comment down below if I should use. Um, Godi as our keeper. Any China, Chinese, any Asians that want to join? No, no one has potential here because we need to sign a a player from the um, Asian leagues. That's what our objective says, so we won't get sacked. But um, comment down below if we should start um, our new keeper over over um, Neto or should we sell Neto? Start our keeper. And you can see we have bought Holland. Holland is now in this game here. We're going to put him in for Jesus Ferreira. Even though Jesus Ferreira is faster by one. But no worries. And this was tougher here. I got great midfielders. But the thing is that I can sell Aguero. But I don't want to sell Aguero. But we can play a 4-2-4. Like um, PSG. But I don't know. Should I sell Aguero or should I sell um, Rodri? Because if I sell Rodri, it's going to be a 4-2-4. But if I sell Aguero, it'll still be the same position. Except 
the striker is gonna be Holland. Um, but comment down below if um, I should sell one of those people or is there a better position where I can um, use them as. But for now, to take a safety precaution, where is Rodri? Oh, I passed him already. I'm gonna loan out, um, which pit? Okay, Rodri, I'm gonna loan him out. Just, just in case. But um, if y'all comment down, I should sell Aguero and not sell Rodri, then Aguero will be sold, hopefully. But yeah. Oh, we could, no. I was gonna think of a, uh, we could start two in the front, Messi as a cam, but I don't know. I don't know. If you have any other formations, comment down below. Um, but yeah. But that seems to be our new formation here, a 442. Drop back. Um, I think this is good. We're gonna probably put a little bit more width players in the box. Mm, all that's probably gonna stay the same. Hopefully this this position works. But yeah, comment down below if we should change something. Or should we sell Aguero or Rodri? Or should we sell Bruno Fernandez? Anyone really from the midfielder? It's up to y'all guys. But um, yeah, let's jump into this game here. Atletico Madrid versus Barcelona here in the Copa de España. You see everyone warming up. Everyone's here to see Holland in his debut. Lamar here. He's probably the man to watch for Atletico right now. <clears throat> but let's get into this game here. We are live in the stadium of Barcelona. And you can see everyone is here. Sold out stadium just to see Holland play for this team. Because if you know if that was in hap that, that happens in real life, we all know that Barcelona would have more than this coronavirus. What am I saying? But it's a kickoff here. Saul. And Saul still has the ball for Atletico Madrid. Has an opening spot right here. But Ter Stegen. Great keeper here. Low passes it. Very risky there. But Bruno Fernandez to Aguero. And Aguero sees Erling Holland. The debuter right here. He's on the run. But no. Steel blocks and Holland's trying to look for an opening. They take it away, but Holland with his great physicality still takes it out. And now El Cunaguero to Bruno Fernandez. I'm clicking B. I'm clicking. Oh my, Ooh, bro. Lamar takes it away, but now El Kun has it. Holland looks sees Dembele on the run. Now Dembele, this man is a great assist person. Oh, and it's a goal. Oh. oh my gosh I thought that was not even gonna go in I thought it was own goal or it was gonna go over post but it wasn't go oh, black looks disappointed like come on man look at this goal I mean look at this pass right here I thought one of them touched it for an own goal but no it was Aguero who touched it for his goal and that is one goal in the Supercopa and Suarez over here, good. Ray Lamar. Ooh, very risky there, but horrible passing. And now Atletico's cut their attack in Morata to Suahu. Nothing. Morata again, delay right there, helping Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen with the block. Ooh, our defense is coming in clutch right now. Look at that. Suarez breaking through, but Delit throws him to the ground, saying, "Uh, uh, boy." <clears throat> and you see Telling Men's. First transfer for Inter Milan, 58 million, and delayed with the ball. 45th minute, this is almost over and this is halftime. We are doing good right now. Holling, Holling is doing good, you know, his, his first time here. Not a lot of people get used to the first time, um, but they'll get used to it later on. Wan Bissaka for the throw in for Lodi. I was thinking of buying Lodi for Jordi Alba once Jordi Alba starts getting older. But Suarez now. Luis Suarez sees Lamar. Lamar. He's 
Can't find anyone open and passes it back. Our defense here. Everyone's in the back. Joel Felix finds an opening though. And that is 1-1. A physical ties it off right here. Very risky. And now they have a chance to win this game. Joel Felix, great man, great man. Can't complain. And now Barcelona counterattack in the 82 minutes. Aguero still has the bar. Ling Holland, nothing. Saul. But Dembele with the interception here. Sees Frankie de Jong. Now Bruno Fernandes. And now counterattacking here is pressuring. Atletico pressures Barcelona. And there's no opening that they can't see. But Goon sees Bruno Fernandes shoots. But no. Marquinhos was there to stop it. And look at this. Look at this save right here from Marquinhos. Boom. Dang. But substitution here for Rodri. And Trincao comes in. And Holland comes out. And Agun looking for an opening man. And it's a header! Goal! From Memphis Dillon! Look at that header! Old Black! Was too late to react, and he saves us from going overtime or even into penalties. Delit, he is being praised right now. This man just saved us from destruction from the overtime and from tired legs. Hereda is now in for Atletico. Two minutes at a time. Can they come back? Can they get one more goal? But they're just passing it back. They see an opening right there, Sawu, and they could pass it over there, but no, they pass it back to Lodi, and that should be full time right here. Blow the whistle, Rev. Come on. Sawu, but nothing, and that is full time. Barcelona takes the dub, and look at that. Just happiness. Then Gao with Delit, the man, Delit right there. Bless him, bless him. He saved us, and now we're going to the final. Do I feel like, come oh, on, man, why should, why didn't you buy me instead of Holland? Bruno Fernandes, hey, bro, we're going to win the World Cup, don't worry. To his Portuguese friend here. And 2-1 here in this home game. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notification. Remember my links. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, he knows that he could be at risk of being sold. But I'm still going to try to keep them. But yeah, anyway, you guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and um, follow me in the social medias down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Um, What's happening here? Ooh, his position changed. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what he go to. He still stays in the same position, but now we can put him as a, we can put him as sweeper. But I think we'll put him as a de defensive center back for stamina and all that. For the third time, guys, um, social media is down below. Um, like this video, share. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.